my channel so today I am excited because I am doing a Valentine's Day makeup tutorial for you guys and I'm using the new Huda Beauty what's it called the new nude palette I absolutely love the way that this look turned out I just think it's super like sultry and feminine and yet glamorous if you guys are new to my channel welcome thank you for stopping by my name is Alicia don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out so we can stay connected and you can catch my next video and if you guys did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up because that always helps out and head over to Instagram and follow me at Lisha Loves Makeup if you guys are interested I'll list that down below otherwise if you guys want to see how I get this glamorous look here then just keep on watching all right guys so first off I'm going in with the Sigma eyeshadow base in the shade persuade and I love this because it cancels out any discoloration and also prevents creasing throughout the day so I'm just blending that out and then I'm gonna go into the Huda Beauty new nude palette and I'm taking this shade called secret and it's kind of just like a dusty peachy pink color and I'm starting to dust this into my outer corner and crease area I take like the largest amount of pigment at the outer corner and then I just kind of start dragging whatever's left over on my brush towards like the inner corner and you just want to take your time with building this. And next I went in with this shade called Lace, which is a very light lilac color. And I basically placed this on top of that last shadow. It didn't really change the color very much, but I was kind of trying to just tone down the pink a little bit from that last shade. And it just, like I said, it just kind of helped to neutralize it a little bit, but it didn't do too much. And then next I'm going to go in with this shade called Tease. And this is a little bit deeper. It kind of has like some purple undertones as well. And I'm taking this on like a smaller tapered brush. And I'm starting to pack that in the outer corner. And basically the same thing. I kind of just drag that in towards the inner corner with whatever is left over on the brush. But you want the majority of the pigment to be at that outer corner. And the key with this look is just to really keep building the color. So I just keep building the intensity of this until I'm satisfied with that. And then I always like to go back in with a big fluffy blending brush after each color and just blend out the edges and make sure that everything is nice and seamless and blending from one shade to the next. And then next I'm going to go in with this shade called Raw and I just realized I placed the heart on the shade Tease. It's actually the shade to the right of the one with the heart and this is just a little bit more like reddish in color. And basically I'm doing the same thing, repeating the same steps, placing that pigment on the outer corner and kind of dragging inward towards the inner corner with whatever is left over on your brush. Just building more depth and dimension. I feel like the more you layer your colors, just the more it just gives you, I don't know, so much more dimension. And then I pulled out the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette and I'm using this shade called Oud I think is how you pronounce it. It's O-U-D. It's basically just like a deep rich like reddish brown. I just wanted to add a little bit more depth to the look and there's not a lot of dark shades in the new nude palette. So basically I am just using this to create more depth and dimension in the outer corner. And once I was satisfied with the amount of pigmentation, I went in with the concealed shade from the new nude palette. And this is actually a little concealer. And I wasn't quite sure how I felt about it at first because it didn't look very pigmented. But I actually really liked it and felt like it was so user friendly. Like it definitely did what I wanted. It cut my crease and it gave me like a nice blank canvas. And I felt like it was easier than thick concealers, which is what I normally use. I felt like it was just easier and then I went in with this shade called charmed which oh my goodness is so stunning all of these shimmer shades in this palette are just ridiculous and this is the reason why I bought this palette <laughs> but basically I took that on my finger and I'm placing that all over my lid and I don't even know how to describe this color it's like a bronzy color with like a I don't even know like a mauve purple shift to it so I placed most of it on the lid with my finger and then I did have to go in with the brush just to get like the corners and make sure that you know the entire lid was covered with the pigment and it's just absolutely stunning and then I go back in with a little bit of that oud shade from the desert dusk palette just to blend in the inner or excuse me the outer corners and make sure that everything blends seamlessly from the mattes to the shimmer shade 
And because this look is so kind of like monochromatic, I decided to go in with a black and I took this black shade called Noir from the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette and I just basically took that on a flat definer brush from Sigma and I'm lining the lash line. I'm kind of just stamping it on and then I will smudge it out a little bit with that brush. I just felt like it really needed to kind of break up the look a little bit because it is so one dimensional and I feel like this just make the look look so much more sultry and then I went in with a little pencil brush and I kind of smudged that out with a little bit of that um, deep brown shade from the desert dusk palette again just to kind of make it look a little more soft and then I'm going in with the glitter from the new nude palette and this is so stunning I just took a very small amount on my finger and placed it to the center of the lid but I felt like it changed the color of the look so I stamped on the glitter and this is in the shade Infatuated and then I decided to go back in with the shimmer shade called Charmed and place it on top of the glitter just to get back more of like that bronzy shade but I felt like it gave it so much more dimension by having that glitter underneath the shimmer if that makes sense. It just gave it like so much more, um, I don't even know what the word is basically just gave it like a different texture and I love the way that it looked. Now we're going on to the face. I'm taking the Maybelline Master Prime. This is the Blur and Defend Primer and I am just taking that to my face. It kind of smooths out my pores and it also has SPF in it but I feel like it gives me like a nice glow which is what I really like about this primer. And then I'm going into the Maybelline Foundation. I forget. I think this is the Superstay Foundation. I'm always in the shade 220 so I'm just dotting that all over my face and then I'm blending that out with my Morphe sponge and I just love the coverage of this foundation it has amazing coverage and next I'm gonna go in with the wet n wild mega glow contour stick this is in the shade call me maple and I'm just gonna do a little bit of cream contouring with this so basically taking it to the cheekbones the jawline a little bit under the bottom lip the nose and of course the perimeter of my forehead and I feel like this contour stick is very user-friendly it just blends out seamlessly it's not like overly pigmented but it's definitely buildable and I'm just blending that out with my Sigma Duo Fiber Brush. I did break off the handle, but I still use this little brush because I love it. I just feel like it blends out cream products so easily. And I just love this product. I feel like it warms up the skin nicely, but at the same time keeps my face looking fresh. I just feel like um, cream products can be a little more forgiving than powder product products, especially like in the winter time. And for concealer, I'm going in with the Urban Decay All Nighter, and I'm basically just taking that under my under eye area, down the center of the nose, the center of the forehead, center of the chin, and a little bit around my nose and Cupid's bow, just to conceal and brighten. And then again, blending that out with my Morphe sponge. I do like to dampen my sponge with a little bit of the Mario Badescu um, like facial spray, just to kind of, I don't know, I feel like it helps to blend out my concealer, and again, just keeps everything looking fresh and not too heavy. And so just blending all of that out and I just love this um, beauty bakery powder. This is called the Better Not Bitter Powder in the shade yellow and oh my goodness. Like it just makes a huge difference. It brightens my under eyes. It sets everything in, pr in place, like prevents creasing, but it's not like heavy or gives me like, um, like that creepy under eye look. Like look at the difference. I absolutely love this. And then I'm gonna go into the Wet n Wild contour palette and I am taking the contour or like the bronzer side. I believe it's in the shade Caramel Toffee. And again, I'm just using this to set all of those cream products in place and kind of further just like bronze up the skin. And this is a very warm tone bronzer. So if you are not a fan of that, you won't like this, but I just feel like it warms up the skin so nicely, especially when I'm a little more pale in the winter time. So just taking to that um, to the same areas that I placed that cream contour. And for my nose contour, I just like to pinch a big fluffy brush and kind of get the sides. And then I like to go back in with my powder brush where I use my um, translucent powder and just kind of soften the edges of all of that bronzer. I just feel like it blends seamlessly just to make sure there's no har harsh edges and make sure everything looks a little more seamless. And then I'm going in with the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray and just locking in all of those powders and making sure everything looks a little more skin-like. And I do like to have my face a little damp before I go in with highlight. Today I am using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in the shade Precious Petals. And by far, hands down, this is the best drugstore highlight I have ever tried. Just look at that glow. Like it is just so beaming. There's like no chunky glitter in it. It is just so beautiful. And I love it, especially like in the winter time when I'm a little more fair skinned. I just feel like it's the perfect shade. It's like a little more cool toned. It has like a little bit of 
almost like pink undertones in it I guess but it's just so stunning and for blush I'm going in with the Milani baked blush in the shade Berry Amor this is like one of my favorite blushes from back in the day and I just love it it's so stunning it has like a little tiny hint of shimmer in it but I just place that to the apples of the cheeks and then I go back in with my dual fiber brush and just kind of stipple the edges and make sure everything is blended and there's no harsh edges. I just feel like this gives you a little more of like an airbrushed effect. And now that the face is complete, we're going back to the lower lash line. I am taking the shade Tease and dusting that on the whole lower lash line. I believe this is a Sigma E30 brush. I'll list all the brushes and details down below in the description bar. And then going back into the Desert Dusk palette and taking that shade Oud. This is on a Sigma flat definer brush and just really defining that lash line. So getting as close to the lash line as possible. And then I'm going in with the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in the shade Plum. This is actually a cream shadow, but I'm using it on my lower waterline. And it's the most stunning plum shade. I just feel like this gives it like a nice, deep, sultry look without being like as harsh as black. And then I go back in with the Flat Definer Brush and just really make sure that that cream shadow stick is blended out on the lower lash line. And then going back into the new nude palette and I'm taking this shimmery shade called Crave I believe and it is just so stunning like it is so shimmery it has like gold with like flecks of pink and it's just the most stunning inner corner highlight. And then for lashes, I'm using the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara, which is like hands down my favorite mascara, especially for my lower lashes. It just makes them so long and defined. And for lips today, I'm going in with one of my favorite lip combos. This is the Marc Jacobs Lip Liner in the shade Nudist. And I feel like it's just like the perfect neutral toned nude lip liner. So just lining my lips, doing a little bit of lip contouring. And then I'm going to go in with the Marc Jacobs, I think this is the Liquid Lip Cream in the shade Fawn Over Me. And it's just like the perfect peachy pink shade. So I'm just taking that to the lips. And then I feel like the key to getting that perfect pout is tapping in the product and really making sure that your lip liner and your lip product blend together you may have to go back and forth so I went back in with a little bit more lip liner and just made sure everything was nicely blended and I decided to put a little bit of gloss this is the Marc Jacobs lip gloss in the shade cream and sugar and I just put that to the very center of the lips just for a very hint of shimmer or sheen and basically this is the completed look I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial thank you so much for watching as always and I will see you guys in my next one happy valentine's